Welcome, everybody. Uh, I'm honored to be here. My name is Maika Meidame, and I'm co-founder of the Excess Materials Exchange. And today I'd like to talk to you about something we've literally been sweeping under the rug for the last 150 years. It's the sexy topic of waste. And the dictionary defines waste as the loss of something valuable. But let's be honest, waste today doesn't equate something of value. It equates something that is worthless. And that's exactly what we want to change with the Excess Materials Exchange. We want less waste that is worth more. Because now, it is just a wasted opportunity. Kilo per kilo, there is more gold in the sewer system than in any, even the most productive gold mines in the world. And when I first heard this, I was like, who is flushing gold down the toilet? But it turns out, a city the size of Amsterdam 10 million euros worth of gold and other precious metals is flushed down the drain every year. And that's not the only thing we throw away. We really, really throw away staggering amounts of value. And the real question is, how can we get from this to this? Waste for the valuable resource that it is. And there's three problems. There's a lack of transparency, there's a lack of reliability, and there's no central location. Lack of transparency. We don't know what's in our products. Hence, when we throw it away, we don't know the value of that. Then there's no reliability. There's no standardization, there's no quality control. So if you'd actually want to do something with your waste, that's almost impossible. And then if you eventually overcame, overcame both, then where would you go? There's no central location. So we solved that. We created a digital secure marketplace where companies can buy and sell their excess materials. And this could be anything. Could be gold, could be coffee leftovers, could be heat, whatever. And this enables you to become more resource resilient because you're less dependent on imports from volatile regions. It decreases your environmental impact, which is automatically calculated by our software. It improves your bottom line because now you actually pay to get rid of your waste, whereas then you would get paid for your waste. And it enables you to join a global marketplace where you can turn your trash into cash. So how are we doing this? With a multi-sided platform. We have buyers, sellers, and value-added providers, and they provide services and technologies. And we facilitate all the transactions. So we enable companies to put their materials that they have or they want on the marketplace, and we look for the highest value destination of that material. And then our software, which is aligned with blockchain and AI, so we can speed up the transition to a circular economy. I do this together with my business partner, Christian van Mare, and we're having uh, very far conversations with the CTO that hopefully joins us soon. And we really believe that we can seduce companies to radically change the way they operate by providing new viable business models. And that's exactly what we're doing with the EME. And then the market that we're in is a circular economy market. And there's been very generous, general estimates about that, that if we transition to a circular economy, we would generate 7 to 22 extra a billion euros each year. Uh, so we narrowed it down. And in the Netherlands, we use 260 billion kilograms of resources every year. Then we recently signed an agreement that specified that in 2030, 50% of this needs to be non-virgin or recycled. Currently, this is 48 billion kilograms. And most of that is resources that have been burned, so that are lost, to recover energy, because energy is included in that 260 billion kilograms. So we need to step up that game majorly. Then our revenue model uh, is a participation model. There's 40,000 companies in the Netherlands that uh, generate enough uh, excess materials, so they are eligible for the excess materials exchange. And if we take a 1% market share, we would generate 610,000 euros of revenue annually. And we're trying to get there by starting a pilot project. So we have generated a whole ecosystem around us of banks, of law firms, uh, of accountancy firms, and a lot of research institutes, because this is a new market. It doesn't exist. And they help us with a lot of in-kind help and exposure. But last night, when I tried to pay at Albert Hein for my groceries with exposure, they didn't accept that currency. So that's why we need your help. And I'm going to be here for the rest of the afternoon, so if you have any more questions, please come up to me. Thank you.